Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas and today we're gonna talk about Abercrombie. I believe, I don't know, are they sister brand to Hollister or what, but like their stuff comes in the same packaging, it looks like identical. I've shopped from both of these brands, I've purchased things from them in the past, I've done well it fits, and the short answer was not really, it doesn't really fit. Um, but now they have this Curve Love denim, and I will say right off the bat, I was super disappointed to see that despite the fact that they have this Curve Love denim as shorts, they don't offer above a size, I wanna say 15, if I'm wrong I'll put it on the screen. Actually it's size. 14, 32 inch waist, that's the max. But what are you doing? I mean, why even, what are you doing? What are you doing? So supposedly this is supposed to be um, a little bit more curve friendly. Uh, you have a little bit more space in like the hip and thigh, but they also extended their sizing, which is nice to see, um, obviously. There's a reason that you go on these websites and when the sizing, you know, goes a little bit bigger, it goes a little bit higher than your average, those sizes tend to be sold out a lot. It is because one, we want to do it too. We want to wear these jeans from the mall too. We, we That's what we wanted. That's what we've been excluded from our whole lives, right? Like I'm, at this point, I'm like, I'll wear jeans from wherever. But like, that's a thing still. People just want to be included, okay? That's... We like it, okay? Inclusivity, it's, it's, it's there for a reason. So that's one thing, but the other thing is that we just have less options. Plus size folks just have less options. Still, there are plenty of plus size options now. I would say far more than we ever had five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Hello, I only had Fashion Bug, basically. Do you guys remember Fashion Bug? It was, it was a struggle, okay? <laughs> only being able to shop at Fashion Bug. But that's the other thing, that we have less options. So if you release something, you release it in our size, right? Let's say above a 14, it, it's gonna sell out, okay? There are a lot of us wearing bigger sizes. That's just what it is, all right? So I went ahead and purchased all of the ones that I could in my size. Everything I could find in my size for my waist measurement, and I did use their size guide, I bought. So all of the denim that I could find that was in a size 18, which is my straight size measurement, so a traditional straight size retailer, I would wear size 18. A traditional plus size retailer, uh, toward fashion to figure, uh, what's Lane Bryant, something like that, I would wear 16. Okay, so that's where I'm at on that scale. 18s is what I got. Now, I will say I bought quite a few in short length because that was all that was available, but I knew that the waist size would still be the same, so just take some of these lengths with a grain of salt because I'm not necessarily a short length girl. I'm 5'4", so typically I just wear a regular length. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this because I've seen a lot of people talking about these jeans, but it came to my attention last week that every single person that I saw talk about them was sponsored by Abercrombie. Now, I've been sponsored by Abercrombie in the past before too, and they don't force you to say good things, okay? <laughs> but typically when a brand is paying you, they don't want you to say bad things either, right? So sometimes you can glaze over the parts that maybe aren't so great about it. Okay, so I felt it was my duty to <laughs> present a video where I didn't get paid for it, I'm not sponsored by anybody right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what I got, and this first pair, oh, all the tops are also from Abercrombie. Um, these are gonna fit, I'm pretty sure. Like, they're pretty much all gonna fit. I get them in an extra large. They do run oversized. I find that Abercrombie, for the most part, in their tops, they, they kind of have vanity sizing, so they tend to run a little bit bigger, but the label will be a little bit smaller, just to make you feel a little bit better about yourself which, I mean, that's what vanity sizing is. Okay, so this first pair that I have on are a 34 inch waist, that's what it says. I have a 35 inch waist, 36 probably right now, if I'm being honest with you, because <laughs> I've been eating. So uh, these are an 18 short, they are the Curve Love High Rise Super Skinny Ankle Jeans. As you can see, these are too short for me, that's okay. Um, I got them in a short, I don't hate the length of them, I would probably give them one cuff, wear them with sandals, wear them with like Vans or uh, Converse or something. As far as the shirt goes, I guess we could talk about it while we're here. It has the two little ties, it is a uh, ribbed, like stretch ribbed, material so in this little mauve color. It's really comfortable, obviously. It's very loose, open, flowy, whatever. I wouldn't wear it with this because it's a little bit too long, so it creates more attention where I wouldn't want it. I would want, most likely, if I was really gonna try to show off my waist, I would show off my waist. I wouldn't add more material to it on the sides. But as far as the waistband goes, these are a little snug, okay? Especially considering they are an 18, they're a little bit snug. I have some 16s from American Eagle, okay? Because American Eagle does great denim. They do good, 
good, good, good denim. So um, I have some 16s from them. And so considering this is a comparable brand, given that they're both straight size brands traditionally, I would say that these are running a little bit tight. These are predominantly cotton. They only have 1% of elastic in them and a few percent of polyester. Um, if I want a jean to fit really well, typically I want at least 2% spandex, elastic, lycra, whatever. I want at least 2%. So these have more form. I would say they're not really doing anything for my butt. Uh, I do have a little, you know, like butt nubs. I don't even know what to call it, but you know, my booty's a little bit misshapen and that's just the life we're living, okay? That's, that's, that's how God made us. So let's just deal with that. But um, they're not uncomfortable, but they're running small. They're a little tight everywhere, I would say. Again, not uncomfortable. I could definitely, wear them i could see them stretching out as i wear them um but you know i'm gonna give them like a like a six out of ten okay <laughs> did i forget to tell you guys the price i feel like i did oh the last shirt that i had on was actually an xxl this is also an xxl some of the ones that i have are an extra large so i'll just call those ones out uh this t-shirt cost me $25.68. These jeans cost me $38.57. They were on some kind of sale. They were on a little bit of a sale when I bought them. Holy crap. And then the jeans that I have on now are $50.84 and and I don't understand. So this shirt is actually the bomb. If you guys know me, I love a graphic tee. If you can see that entire one is full of graphic tees. It's deep. There's gotta be like 40 t-shirts in there. Um, plus I have a whole closet full. Anyway. Graphic tees and like bike shorts are my jam. Leggings, obviously, of course, but I mean like in the summertime, catch me in a graphic tee and some bike shorts and some slides, okay? Cause that's basically my uniform. Uh, so this, given my knowledge of tees, okay? <laughs> this is a pretty nice shirt. It's super soft. Um, it's not really tight on the arms. I have pretty big arms. So sometimes, you know, t-shirts tend to run a little bit tight there. Not tight at all. Really soft, nice shirt. And this is, um. It's not one of those crusty kind of hard ones, which don't get me wrong, I like those too. I have one right there, Lisa Left Eye Lopez one, which I accidentally dyed pink yesterday with my freaking son's red Jason hoodie. But this is a really comfortable shirt. Uh, I like to get a lot of graphic tees from wherever I can get them, and then uh, typically my boyfriend and I both wear them, so I don't feel bad spending a little bit more on t-shirts and sweatshirts. Like, I will get them from Urban sometimes, um, but they're more expensive there, so for the price, I'm happy with this. Bringing it on down to the nether region here, my cats came in and they forgot to close the door. Um, so down here I have on a pair of their mom jeans. So these ones are the Curve Love the Mom high rise jeans. So a high rise. Um, yeah, it's a high rise. I will give them that. We got a solid one to two inches above the belly button. So these are a high rise jean. They are 99% cotton with 1% elastic, which means they have very little stretch and give to them. They're the type of jean that as you wear them, they're going to kind of stretch out a little bit because they are predominantly cotton jeans. Um, that elastic really helps to kind of hold the shape of your <laughs> denim. Since it's a mom jean, it does have a looser fit. I once again got these in an 18 short, so as you can see, they're a little short. You know, I'm ready for the flood, that's for sure. Uh, but again, I could fold them up if I really wanted to and wear them with like a low sneaker, like a Vans or Converse situation. At least for me personally, that's my style. Um, I don't like them. <laughs> the, the waist is huge, okay, by comparison. Like, we're talking about the same inches, right? They claim. 34 inches. How? How is the last one 34 inches and this one's 34 inches? How? Explain it to me. It's obviously bull crap. Like, oh, look, I got my me undies on. <laughs> um, it's obviously crap, okay? Uh, it's not 34. They can't both be 34 inches. That's just not the way math works, all right? So they have quite a gap. They make my butt look not great. They, they really actually just make my butt look how it looks. And so it's not, it's not a very flattering fit. Um, Look, I've been a mom for almost 11 years now, okay? We, we're OGs in this game now. I have never wanted to wear jeans like this. If I wanted my jeans to be this loose, I would wear sweats. But I know some people love mom jeans. I just don't think I really, like, they're, they're not the best for my body, so take my opinion of them with a grain of salt, okay? I have a curvy, ugh. The word makes me like, ugh, ugh. Whatever. <laughs> um, I just feel like I look better in skinny jeans, okay? Or flares even. So there's also some looseness here in the front, like in front of the belly by the crotchal area. So 
uh, overall, they're comfortable. I'll give them that. And they're comfortable because they're so loose. But they're so loose on the waist. Like, you can see my drawers. I don't like that. I've never wanted you to be able to see my drawers through the top of my uh, jeans. And I don't wear my underwear very high either. So, the fact that, like, I have to push them down, I'm not here for it. And they're $50 on sale. That's... <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, this shirt cost me 35, the pants cost me 39. Uh, the shirt's in an XL. It actually fits pretty nicely. It doesn't look good with these pants. Again, it's a little, it's just a little long. So I guess maybe I just take it up. There you go. That looks better already. So uh, it has a little flutter sleeve. I did get this in an XL. The entire waist area is super stretchy and then you have um this area is not stretchy at all and then it has like little hook and eye closures in case you wanted more or less boobage happening um the back there's not much to say it just kind of covers the whole thing pretty comfortable obviously for me my arms are gonna fit because there's no sleeves i mean a flutter sleeve but what is that even really it, it's nothing now we're taking it downtown here so this is the Super skinny ankle high rise. These I got in a size 18 again, but these are an 18 regular. And it's supposed to have like a skinny ankle, but not like a super skinny ankle. And I'll give it that. It's got a skinny ankle. It has a little bit of an opening down there though. But do you see where it's landing? These are short too. I mean, they're regular length, but they're short on me. Like this is not where my jeans should land typically. Um, at any other retailer, this would be like a short inseam for me. So kind of odd. Um, otherwise they fit pretty well. I mean, they fit like a regular skinny jean for me. So they do have some stretch in there. They are again, like 94% cotton. I think they have 1% elastic, but clearly they're made a little bit different. They fit a lot different than the first one. The waist is nowhere near as, um, fitted and the rest of it just has a good, nice huggy feel to it uh functional pockets and everything so that i do like this is a nice pair of jeans i mean 40 bucks and you need a pair of jeans from abercrombie they work for me personally uh but there's nothing spectacular about them you know but hey they fit i know this video isn't really about the tops but this bodysuit feels like like a hug it is made so well, I don't even, and you know what, you, when it goes up like this, it reminds me of uh, 50 Cent, how he used to always wear his little, what were they called? They weren't vocal tank tops, were they? That was Nelly. So it is a ribbed bodysuit, but it feels like I'm being hugged. This bodysuit feels like someone loves me and they want to show me. So um, it's so cute the way it crosses in the back and then it is a thong, but it actually goes down quite far before it becomes like a little thong piece. Has the buckles in the crotch. It's really comfortable. I mean, this is an XL. I have plenty of room. I wear a lot of bodysuits. I have, again, one entire drawer full of bodysuits. This is a nice bodysuit. I am very pleasantly surprised, and now I'm wondering if they have other colors. Moving down to talk about what we were here to talk about, these jeans. So these have the exact same makeup. You can kind of see how busted they look on me. <laughs> I just look like a big, like, a this is not, see, this is not, what I want to look like and sometimes you're just buying the wrong clothes your body your body's fine always okay but sometimes you're buying clothes that make it look how it's not it's not even it's not even really like this okay this just makes it look like it's like this so um I'm feeling very round in these jeans they are also 99% cotton 1% elastic which is the exact same makeup as the mom jean so it has a very similar feel, okay? They feel very, very similar. Much tighter in the crotch, much tighter um, on the thigh and leg. Not bad tight, but much tighter. And this is one of those jeans, which it's always witchcraft, and I never know how they do it, but it's one, it's one of those jeans where it is somehow really tight here on the front part of the waist, and yet manages to still be loose and away from my back. So. This is one of my least favorite types of jeans. I would not be, I'm not happy with this particular purchase. And these are the skinny high rise. They are in a size 18 regular once again. And I feel like I'm ready for the flood, you guys. They are frayed on the end. I like the details. I like the little bit of, um, I, I don't love the holes if I'm being honest, but <laughs> I do like the distressing on the knee and stuff. But the length is, this is regular length. Are they supposed to be cropped? 
I, I, I'm not liking the length of the jeans, which is a whole different conversation I didn't even think we'd be having today. Overall, I know that if I wore these jeans, they would stretch out and probably fit to my body a little bit better, probably just be a little bit loose in the waist once they stretch out, but um, they feel like a good quality jean. I'll give them that. Oh, price. These jeans are $43.59, and then this bodysuit was $35.95. Sweater knit bodysuit, cross back. Girl, yes. The bodysuit, highly recommend. Okay, the cami was $13.90 something, $94. The Curve Love Ultra High Rise Ankle came in at a whopping, on sale, $65. Ooh, this brightness. Well, damn. Okay, so. Okay, it's a cami. <laughs> it's a cami. It's stretchy. Um, it fits actually really nicely. I love camis like this. I tend to buy mine from um, Urban Outfitters just because they have a lot of cropped camis and they don't do this. They don't go up. They are usually like straight across. And if they do go up, holy cleavage, man. Okay, there is so much cleavage on those ones and I'm, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because I don't, you know, I don't normally get a lot of cleavage. Wow, so I get those from Urban, but there's nothing wrong with this one. This one's fine. It's got a little cross in the back. It's cute. It's cropped. It's a cami. It is what it is. It's extremely stretchy. It's one of those. <sighs> the jeans. These jeans. These, these, these are the jeans. Uh, the Ankle Stray Ultra High Rise. Got them in an 18 regular. Again, what's up with the length of all of these jeans? They're so odd. Is it just me or these ones look like they kind of fan out a little bit? I don't know. Okay, 99% cotton again, 1% elastic. So they have a very similar fit and feel to the black jeans that I showed you and to the mom jeans that I showed you. Um, that being said, the waist is completely different. These are an ultra high rise. Ultra high rise often are more fitted. Now the fact that these all say they have a 40 inch or a 34 inch waist is laughable, okay? No, they don't. Do men's sizes actually abide by the inch? Like, do they actually make things that amount of inches? Is it just us that get played with? Like, do you just want to hurt my feelings and play with my emotions and make me have to buy things that don't fit? Is it just a, a lady thing? Is it just a gal thing? It's just for us gals? Just a little something for us? I don't know. Oftentimes with an ultra high rise, you can expect the waistband to be more fitted because they know it's going further up your body. They are gonna assume the further up you go, the smaller it gets until you get further, 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 you know, beyond the waist and then it starts getting bigger again. So that I expected, but it is quite fitted and it is once again, still a little loose in the back. So the witchcraft is fully available here. Now I will say that these look better <laughs> than the black jeans did on me. Um, I think they look, they look fine, you know? They're not a comfortable, oh, we got big fat flaky snow. So cute. That is cute snow, that's good looking snow. Uh, they're not comfortable. If I wore them a lot, they might be more comfortable. Currently, I'm, I don't like them. <laughs> if, if I had a choice to have them on or not, my choice would be to not have them on. I wouldn't wear these out. I know that I would be bothered by them. I know that I would be uncomfortable and I would be ugh, fussing with them and I would have an attitude and that's not the person I wanna be. See, the problem is if I was going up a size in any of these, the waist would be too big, right? They're saying that these jeans are giving me an extra two inches in the hip area. Like that's pretty much, you know, that's what the curve part is. Um, I think they need to add a little bit more elastic to these jeans because when we get bigger, when we become plus size girl, we just, the proportions are different, okay? We don't all look like this. We don't all look the same. Our bodies don't all look the same, but we need a little bit of give. I don't see anyone walking around talking about, give me stuff that doesn't have any stretch in it anywhere. My body wants it. No, your, your body probably doesn't want that, okay? And I hate when it looks good on screen, but you don't know how I'm feeling on the inside. I wouldn't buy these jeans. I would return these jeans. I already bought the damn jeans, but if I was you, I wouldn't buy these jeans unless you are quite slim from hip to waist. Like, you stay slim, right? Then maybe I would buy them because then they probably wouldn't be uncomfortable. Look, if you want jeans that fit you really nicely, that are loose, that are not loose, that are fitted, that are skinny, that are long, that are short, whatever. You want those jeans? Try Fashion to Figure. That is truly where I would go and I'm pretty sure my code still works at Fashion to Figure right now. I think until the end of the month, which is coming up quick, but it's Sarah 20 and gets you 20% off right now, okay? Go to Fashion Figure. I just did a video on them. If you're a plus size girl and you're looking for jeans, for the love of God, 
go to fashion and figure. It's so much better, okay? For those of us that still wanna wear Abercrombie jeans, look, I need, I need jeans from everywhere. I need jeans from every store. It is beneficial to me to know what's going on at these retailers, so let, let's get into it. I, I took like a 30 minute break between the last clip and this one because I fell in love with my outfit. Okay, let me tone down my brightness. This this is the this is the kind of stuff I like. Okay, if once again you're someone who doesn't really have a lot of style or fashion sense, I've said this in other videos. I mean, just go basic. Just go basic. Go basic, Betty, with a good fit. Basic, good fit. Basic, basic, good fit. The fit's important. <sighs> I love this. This is basic, but I could look real fashionable if I tried to with this on, right? Like. This is like a nice little rib knit and it is stretchy as I don't know what. Very comfortable. The inside feel like it's it feels like it's lined and I like was kinda like touching it, trying to figure it out. Um I don't think it is. I think it's just like hella soft. Feels like a little just a little velvety soft, a little blanket in there. Feels really good, really cute, all that. We're gonna move it on down to the ground over here. These jeans, crap, I forgot how much they cost. I think they were 40 bucks, right, on sale. A regular price, I'm telling you guys what I paid for them, okay? So you might be a little disheartened if you click the links and there's no jean sale right now. They do often do jean sales. It's kind of, you know, it's here and there, it's whatever it is. Um, mine are less than what the regular price is. That is for damn sure. So these jeans though, holy cow, these are these super skinny ankle high rise curve love, 18 regular, again, 34 inch waist. I don't know. I don't know what size the waist is. These fit me like a little bit higher than a mid-rise. Just ever so slightly higher than a mid-rise. So I would say these are a perfect fit on me personally. Again, it has 1% elastic in it, but it has like 94, 95% cotton. The rest is polyester. That's important because it gives you a better stretch, which is something that I personally look for in my denim. Um, I think all the way around, like as you can see, there's no, there's no gappage for me personally. Um, I think my butt looks... How did my butt look? My butt looks pretty good. My butt is back there buttoned, and so it's doing what it needs to do. Of course, all the pockets are functional, like on all the denim that they've released. I think that this length is, again, ever so slightly short, but I'm so taken by these jeans, the fit, the feel, how comfortable they are, how good it looks on the front. Like, I obviously, I have um, a visible belly line most of the time because I have a big belly down here, and no ma'am. Not today. I mean, I can't make it go away. I mean, maybe I can make it go away. I don't know. That is neither here nor there. But the line does not exist because of the wash and the fit of these jeans. I'm obsessed with them. I'm in love with them. I am glad. I'm okay with the fact that I had a lot of no's and maybes. These are a yes. These are a damn yes. These are a yes, yes. Worth it, yes. And sometimes you gotta kiss a few frogs to get your little prince, okay? That's just how it is sometimes. Don't be discouraged when you have to try on 10 different pairs of jeans to figure out which ones are gonna work for you. And if you're ordering them, which I know things can be a little bit more tricky now because you pretty much, you're ordering for the most part, I'm guessing. Um, if you're able to buy a few different pairs at once, especially if there's a good sale, and then the ones that don't work out for you, send them back. Most companies have really easy return policies, especially places like Abercrombie and, um, uh, in most places, most reputable places, the return policy is easy breezy lemon squeezy. They send you a return label. So if you have the means to spend the money for a few weeks before you can get it back, I would suggest trying a few different types versus say buying one pair of jeans and hating it or them not fitting quite right or them being uncomfortable and then you writing off jeans or writing off the retailer entirely. And I will also say that please pay attention to what your jeans are made out of. The reason I'm trying now more so than I ever have before to start mentioning what the jeans are made out of is because that's what makes the difference in how they fit. That'll make a big difference in how they fit. When it's when it's 100% cotton, don't expect to be able to move and breathe in those jeans when you first put them on, okay? Unless they're oversized, basically. And when there's a lot of elastic, Girl, there's a lot of elastic. They're gonna fit like a pair of leggings. And for you, that might be too tight. That might be uncomfortable. So definitely, definitely, definitely pay attention to how much elastic is in your denim. Pay attention to what your denim is made of. And the more, or you know what, go in your closet, find your favorite jeans, see what they're made of. And then be like, okay, I'm gonna look. Every single retailer puts down the makeup of their denim when you're buying something. They, they give you the makeup of the clothes and everything else. Eventually you start paying enough attention to it, you're gonna get really good at buying stuff. The reason I buy so much, and the reason a lot of it doesn't fit, is because I purposefully buy a variety of things that I know 
probably aren't gonna work, but every now and again, girl, I'm surprised, okay? Every now and again, I get a little, oh, what is this, gem? Should we talk about the fashion to figure straight leg pants again? Because those things are bomb, and I would have never bought them had I not been doing a video. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I will have the links to everything down below. Like I said, the prices I'm giving you are the ones that I got while they were on sale. Hopefully there is a sale. If not, sign up for text messages or the emails or whatever. I'm sure they'll have a sale in no time if you're interested in buying any of these jeans. If you have questions, leave them below. I filmed two TikToks. I filmed, that looks dumb. I filmed two TikToks while I was doing this. So you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I also posted on Instagram while I was doing this, but that will have been gone by the time you see this video. But the TikToks will still be there. So feel free to catch me on these other platforms that I'm, I try to post. I try, I do, but YouTube is my big baby. YouTube is my original baby. And I take care of it first because you're still my favorite.